Yeah, how do you get your machines on for a pair? We get them wrapped. What have we got? Oh dear. A wee toy. Um, pieces. And a battery. Fair enough. Sample the blade holder. We'll have to get that back together. And the blade's not clamping. Ruin the blade. Might get away with that. Still works anyway. She spins again. I'm gonna get this stuff back together. <clears throat> right, spring goes on there. Washer goes on there. The split goes on over the top. My tab goes on to the hole. This is the most awkward job to be doing these friggin' saws. To be honest, if it breaks in you, you end up taking this apart just throw it in the box. It's not worth the friggin' hassle trying to get all this line back up again, back into the saw. Why I'm doing it, I do not know. That has to go in there. Find the nut again. Screw that down tight. It'll be that. So we're left with that. Now you have to get this jumble of shite back on. Oh. I'm going to chance for the new blade because this we saw is that cheap. I don't think it's even worth a new blade. That was the problem. I pinched the actual outer flange. And she was pushing against the blade. Yeah. 
key. Well, let's see if it works anyway. Square nut or bolt, it's onto here. This one has a shoulder on it, so even when it's tight, it still rotates. That's the only bolt you have to remove when you're changing the blade. Alright, that comes out, blade spins up. Oh, we go, see? Nothing else needs to come off if you want to change the blade. Or work at the blade. You do not take out that screw. See the way it has a wee screwdriver on it and an X? That means don't take it out, otherwise, you're in a whole world of bother. And that's it. There's much you can do with a wee cheap solid cat.